Cowpeas are one of the most important food legumes in the semi-arid tropics across the world. Its protein-rich grains are consumed by rural and urban households alike and provide income when sold raw or processed into various products. Cowpea husks and fodder are also a source of protein for animals. They're easily stored and sold during the dry season for additional cash. Cowpea, soybean and groundnut act as trap crops. Trap crops stimulate the germination of the parasitic weed Striga. But unlike cereal crops, they do not let Striga attach to their roots, so the Striga sprouts die. Cereal crops also benefit from being grown in rotation or intercropped with cowpea, as the cowpea improves soil fertility by fixing nitrogen from the air. To practice crop rotation or intercrop your maize, millet or sorghum with a legume crop, you need good seed. Keeping quality legume seed has two major challenges. First, the seed easily loses its ability to germinate. And second, we're not the only ones who love legumes. Let's first look at seed viability. Seeds that are not dry enough when stored will lose their ability to germinate. Dry the threshed cowpea seeds in the hot midday sun for four hours to maintain their viability during storage. Always put your container with seed off the floor. Otherwise, the cold floor will make the seeds moist and affect their viability. Let's listen to a farmer from Dasuilili village in northern Ghana about how he keeps his cowpea seed alive. If you don't dry your cowpeas in the sun, the jam will open before you sow. If you dry the seeds well, the jam will only open when you sow. You will see the seed germinate one after the other. That is why I dry them in the sun every day for four days. Have you ever noticed white spots on cowpea seed in your store? Mm. What is in my hand is not just cowpea, it is the eggs. The white things are the eggs of the insect, they lay eggs. Now let's take a closer look at the life cycle of the cowpea seed beetle. During her short life of up to 14 days, one female produces up to a hundred eggs, which she securely fixes on maturing pods in the field or directly on grains in storage. Larvae that hatch from these eggs bore into the grain, leaving tiny holes, often hard to see with the naked eye. Once inside, the larva feeds and develops further, until it emerges as an adult about two weeks later, leaving a bigger exit hole. Immediately after emerging from the seed, female beetles are ready to mate and lay eggs. When a beetle finds herself in a granary full of seeds, you can imagine the losses she can cause. So, knowing the insect life cycle, how can we reduce the damage during storage? As infestation already occurs in the field, avoid introducing larvae hidden in the threshed grains to your store. Dry the threshed legumes in the hot midday sun for four hours to kill the adults and most of the hidden larvae. Before I dry my cowpea, I sweep the floor. I spread the seed in the hot sun. To see if they have dried, I pick one and bite it with my teeth. When it is well dried, the seed is very hard and insect cannot enter. I dry for three days. After that, insect cannot break in. Airtight storage deprives adult beetles of oxygen, after which they die. But beware, the larvae just go to sleep, and whenever given air, will awake and start feeding again. 
Some farmers use metal drums, but it's essential that they are completely airtight with no leaks. Also, avoid opening any container too soon after initiating the storage, as the fresh air will allow the surviving insects to resume feeding and developing. The triple bag technique, whereby two thick plastic bags are put within a woven bag, works on the same principle of air tightness and suffocating the beetles. Verify that the plastic is thick enough and that the bags contain no holes. Expel as much air from the bags as possible by massaging the bags during filling. Properly seal the bag. If not properly sealed, or if the bags are stitched or punctured, fresh air will allow the beetles to survive and breed. If a rat chews a hole in the bag, it may eat a small quantity before you trap it, but beetles may eat the rest without you ever noticing until you open the bag at the next planting season. Containers that are both airtight and rat-proof include metal drums, plastic jars, bottles and calabashes. Mixing seed with equal quantities of sieved sand or ash helps to expel the air from between the seeds. Emerging beetles are also physically unable to push their way out of the seeds and die without mating. I normally dry my cowpeas for three or four days and then select the ones I will store for seed. I collect sand and sieve it, sieve it and sieve it again using a fine sieve. I then pour the dusty sand in a pot and mix it with seed. The insects can't breathe in the sand. Because I sieve the sand, when the insects breathe, they will inhale the sand and die. That is how I store my seed. Certain dried plants with a pungent smell repel or even kill the beetles in storage. I use dimpanyoli and I break it and break it. I do not pound it into powder but just break it into small pieces. I mix this with the cowpea seed. Because of the smell, the insects will not come in. After I pick shea nuts, I cook them to extract the butter. The leftover cake I mix with the cowpea seed and dry it for three days. I then store the seed in my cupboard. It works well. There are no holes in my seed because of the smell of the oil. The insects are scared. I use a fertilizer bag with plastic lining. I pound chili into a powder. I put some on the bottom of the bag, then add three bowls of seed. I add another layer of chili powder and repeat this until the bag is filled. I then store the bag on wood. Insects will not enter. Now that we've learned about this storage pest and how it can be controlled, let's listen once more to Imuru about why he's become a seed producer. When I store cowpea seed up to the next season, there is a good market. I can sell and make good profit. Every farmer needs seed. That is why I tried this knowledge and it was accepted. Even when I store cowpea, my relatives get it from me. That is what has made cowpea farming in this community. So let's remind ourselves what we've learnt. Dry your cowpea seeds in the hot midday sun for four hours to maintain their viability during storage and kill adult beetles and most of their larvae. Always put your container with seed off the ground 
as the cold floor will affect the seed's germination power. Regularly bringing your container out in the hot sun helps to keep your seed alive. Beware of the hidden enemy. Cowpea seed beetles spend most of their life as larvae hidden inside the grains on which they feed. Use airtight storage containers such as triple bags to suffocate adult beetles. Mix the seed with equal quantities of sieved sand or ash to expel air from between the seeds and to entrap any beetles emerging from them. Adding chili powder or dried plants with a pungent smell can repel and sometimes kill the beetles in storage. So remember, good storage will prevent large losses and give you healthy seeds. Growing cowpeas will help improve your soil fertility and will reduce striga if it's present in your soil.